welcome back to my channel. This is Dom, and a uh, package just came through the door. Oh, Claymore casting some of the finest medieval figures on the market today, in my humble opinion. Should we take a look? So, yeah, this has just come through the door. All I've done is rip off the label and the uh, hide my address just in case. And I'm and ripped and cut the uh, seals on this but look at this I haven't gone crazy I just happened to see that some of the new knights that Claymore have been doing went on sale when their web page opened up again and I thought I'm not really doing any medievals at the moment but I've got to have some of these one pack of knights But these are the two new models. Let's get that one out of the way for a minute. These are the two new packs they've just put up for sale. They just look so gorgeous. I just had to have a go and look at them. I've also got some men at arms there. Some crossbowmen there. More men at arms with pole axes and things. Double handed swords and some more crossbowmen. So, the cavalry are basically, um, I said before, they're new models. Um, they are just generic mounted knights. They can be either English or French, and they're from the um, 14th century, so suitable for early uh, 100 Years' War. So, this is uh, OT23 Mounted Knights 3. Um, take a look at the horses first. It's got quite a long neck, is that me? So this guy, this horse is sort of starting to raise up. Um, I think because this is the rider that's supposed to be on the back of it, so it's um, obviously he's sort of pulling back the horse as he's about to swing the axe, battle axe. And so the rider, the horse is sort of leaning backwards a tad. There we go, see that. I like it, it's a nice model. Metal, obviously pewter of some kind, don't know what percentage he uses. I like this guy, he's got uh, a good crest on his uh, on his helmet. So these are, oops, take my fat finger out of the way so you can actually focus on the figure. These are designed to fight either factions in the Hundred Days War, Hundred Years War even. Nice detail. So these are literally just out the bag, so no clean up so far on them. But you can see they look pretty good. Here's the other horse. He's moving at some pace by the look of it. Again, the, the neck of the horse seems a bit long. Maybe. Maybe that's just me. Uh, this guy. He's basically armless. So you can have a separate arm. There, there he is. So you can position the arm in different poses, which is not a bad thing. Um, again, I just want to do this one handed. Nice detail, not much flash that I can see. Clean casting, very small bases. Be a challenge for sticking them down. But yeah, really nice. Uh, they come with shields. I don't know enough about the period whether they did actually use shields in this period. But that is uh, OT23 Mounted Knights number three say both French and English they could be. So this pack is uh, OT24 Mounted Knights 4. Um, again, lovely looking like horses. Again, it's not a criticism, just an observation. The, the necks on the horses seem incredibly long. This one's moving at pace. Uh, this is that one, really. Yeah. 
legs in the air like you just don't care. Got a crest on that horse. Two riders that go with it. This guy using his Olympic torch. I mean mace. Nice crisp casting. It'll paint up nicely. And this is the other guy. Full helm by the look of it. Oops. Yeah, really nice. Nice figures. Again, have the shields with them. Don't know whether they should have at this period or not. I'm not an expert. But really nice crisp models, as you'd expect from uh, Claymore castings. They always do a nice job. So these are the two new night packs that they've just launched. Uh, I think they'll paint up beautifully. Look forward to having a go at those. Basically a bit of light relief from all the Napoleonics and stuff I'm doing at the moment. Um, but while I've got them, let's have a look at some of these other packs that I got. So this pack is... Um, OT50, which is basically Command Pack 1 on the website. Um, again, can be either English or French men at arms stroke knights. Um, four figures, all metal again. And I say these are command figures. Look at that dude. Like it. Got a hell of a plume on his head. And people who are better than me will have a really good time putting the different, uh, oops, different heraldry on these figures. This double-handed sword is going to need a little bit of careful bending back into place. Let's keep dropping them. There's this guy here. Looks like he should be a banner man. This uh, short sword, scabbarded, nice. Mandatory pointing dude. Is that a... Yeah, he should have, a, you can see, he could, oops. He could drill through and put another standard in that guy as well. So another standard bearer, banner man, which means this guy. Presumably he's another officer. Yeah, there we go. He's holding his uh, full helmet and wearing just a normal open fronted helmet. So I guess you've got Lord plus bon Bannerman. Lord plus Bannerman. Again, you've got the shields if you want to use them. Uh, only three shields this time. I guess this time. Uh, Probably hasn't got anywhere to hold a shield at the moment. So, there you go. That's that pack. So this one is OT46, Men at Arms Pack 1. Uh, again, can be French or English. Um, this guy. About to poke some of the eye with that pretty offensive looking pole arm of some sort. Lovely animation. Really nice. This guy with a double handed sword. Open visor. Or open helm. It's like quilted armour, is that? Yeah, it looks like it's quilted armour of some sort. Over the top of his mail. This guy. Almost a Saracen y type sword, that one. Wow. Well, that's interesting with his uh, helmet with the visor open and back on the back of his head. Nice looking figure again. Don't know why I keep saying nice little figure because they're all nice little figures. And there is a guy with a big old chopper. Slightly worried that's bent in the middle there. Metal is always so difficult to bend perfectly back again once it's bent once. He's got a shield on his belt there. Oh, so there's the extra shields. So there's plenty of extra shields here if I need them. 
But again, nice men at arms, they'll paint up beautifully. So um, this pack was labelled up wrong. It said it was 41, but it's actually 42, crossbow number three. Look at that. Really, really nice figure. Just loading this one up. These are obviously French crossbowmen, 14th century. This guy. This guy looks like he's just loosing. Particularly like this guy as well. Of moving along with this crossbow ready to be draw, pulled up and shot. You see these three guys, they all have separate fronts to their crossbows, so you need to stick them on separately, which could be a little bit fiddly, but it is what it is. So this one is OT41 crossbow number two. Again, French crossbowman. Exactly the same as the previous, well, not exactly the same, different poses, but the same idea. with the crossbow, the ends of the crossbows separate, so you have to stick them on. Oops, my fingers. I like this guy. I like his helm. This guy's uh, putting a quarrel on the crossbow. This guy again, I think he's just loosing. Very nice. Uh, it's four, four bits of uh, four tops of the bows, which is good. Uh, there was a small hole in one of the bags, and it was loose. One of them was loose in the box, which was a little alarming, but not not to worry. They're all here, um, so nice crossbowman for me to paint up. So there you go. That's my little package, care package, for the second lockdown in, in England um, from Claymore Miniatures, Claymore Castings. Just gives me something else to do other than Napoleonics and all the other things, AWIs I'm working on. So I do like doing medievals from time to time, so I'm going to enjoy doing these. And I did see them uh, advertised on their Facebook page. Well, I think he showed the pictures of what these looked like when they were being designed, and they look so good. Thought I'm really going to get some of those to add to my medieval horde. Um, really pleased. They're lovely figures, lovely crisp models. Should paint up beautifully well. So hope you found it useful. If you're thinking about getting some claymore castings, can thoroughly recommend them. Really nice medieval. Some of the nicest around, I think. Uh, Specialise in that sort of uh, hundred day, hundred years war, early hundred years war, fourteenth century um, figures. That's their specialty, and they're really, really nice. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you again soon. This is Dom, signing out.